Oh my lord. God, that sounds nice. Ooh. Feel that 6.2 just ping, working. Awesome. And welcome back, folks, to another episode of ATV. Um, something that's a little bit different off the beaten path today that does involve the old wheeler because it's maintenance. We do a lot of maintenance. You guys know all about it, right? So this has been my setup for quite some time. So I just kind of clog everything, like I said, in the uh, back of the truck, in the back seat of the truck, in the trailer, in my shed, a little bit of everything everywhere, right? So it's time to get organized. Anyways, long story short, looking for a tool cart to help me. And I uh, was actually kind of blown away when I started looking because all I could really find at first were the Harbor Freight uh, Princess Auto style carts um, that were completely inadequate for the amount of tools that I have and um, cost a lot more than I thought they were worth. So I'm like, you know, probably 400 bucks Canadian plus more. And then next to that, we have our big box stores like Canadian Tire Lowe's, Rona, Home Depot, all these places, which offered very little in selection. And they were slightly better than the, like I said, Harbor Freight Princess Auto style, but still inadequate for the amount of tool storage I needed. And um, so I was left with no other option if I really wanted a tool car, which blew my mind when I started looking at the tool truck brands yeah we'll just come out and say it she's mac tool she's snap on she's mac co you know the amount of money that these guys are getting for their tool chests i knew it was kind of outrageous but i didn't know it was that outrageous so um i see why people can finance these things right so it makes sense when you're going to spend you know 20 grand on some um extravagant unit over the i'm sure time frame of you know five to ten years on something you're gonna work with for the next 25 or the rest of your life for that matter. Yeah, they want a lot of money. Uh, so their tool cart was definitely adequate. Um, however, that being said, it, the price was not, it was it was pretty outrageous. I think we were talking like $4,000 in access, maybe even, um, if I recall correctly, for some of these tool carts. Tool chests are easy to find. There was lots of different brands and stuff when I started looking online, but. I was in the market looking for a tool cart, something that would fit in the trailer and I'd still be able to fit the units, the two bikes or uh, the side-by-side -side in with. So this will nestle up here in the nose of the old trailer and it should help me get organized and uh, a little more functional, right? Tool carts, there's really not a whole lot of variations um, out there. To choose from that I found anyways in North America but so I thought to myself that there has to be a Canadian made tool chest company somewhere so I typed in Canadian made tool uh, carts Canadian made tool carts on the old search bar and after some rooting I found and stumbled onto uh, Sturk Industries they're quite a ways from where I am in Ontario um, in Red Deer Alberta and uh, we reached out to uh, McKay Tools here in Ontario, and they're our local dealer um, in Western Ontario for Sturk Industries. And they're much more reasonably priced than, say, the large um, brands, like I said, Matt, uh, Snap-on, Matco, and uh, Mac, um, versus Lowe's and all those big box stores where they wanted you know almost a thousand dollars basically all said and done close to for uh their inadequate models and this one actually ran right down you know uh the tool card i ordered up was 21.75 so i thought that was a little bit cheaper you know for the money that i was going to spend i figured if we were better organized we could uh definitely benefit from it and you know it'll be here it'll be my my workshop on the trail and on and off the trail so 
Yeah, so I figured uh, let's take a crack at organizing this stuff. And I thought you guys might be interested in seeing the unboxing. We're going to unbox it now and uh, give you guys a sneak peek at uh, hopefully a better organizing system for my tools and setup for the, uh, the off-road units, right? So, for, with no further ado, now this has already been prepped. It came on top of a pallet and around the casters were boxed in with framework and the exterior of the box had a skeleton of wooden framework. I mean, there must be, at today's prices, probably $150 in wood they must have spent protecting, protecting this package. So um, I'm aware of the color and stuff, but I haven't seen it yet. Uh, we'll let you guys uh, see it at the same time as I do. And uh, without further ado, let's clean this mess up. But first, let's unbox this bad boy. I am so excited right now. I'm like a kid on Christmas. So. Dimensions I'll throw up on the screen for you guys. the other thing all the other tool carts i found well they weren't 28 inches deep let's just say that so i figured i had when i was looking you know you don't basically get two three four drawer combos in these uh box door type carts right whereas this was uh, the real deal i figured uh i'd be lucky if i could fill this to be honest with you so i think it'll uh hold a little bit more of my expansion and tools right as we go along so Oh, nice. So they got six pound, six pound poles, they call them, right? So there's no latching system. It's set up so they have these pins, um, a pin mechanism that uh, requires six pounds of force to open. So I think that will be sufficient. You don't need to close them that hard, obviously, but as you guys see, oh, that's nice. That's buttery. 250 pound drawer capacity um, for the uh, slide weight. So that's pretty kick-ass machine welded another thing that's really kick-ass a lot of the uh again box doors were you know bolted or screwed together stuff like that they just were inadequate i couldn't fit i don't believe enough of this in one so this was going to exceed my expectations or my needs rather and uh definitely wait you're gonna see the coolest part here this is awesome uh, you guys check this out nice isn't that sweet Oh yeah, this is unreal. This is this is just awesome. Check it out, we got a handle here for one side. The one side, this side has the handle on it, and this side also has the application. So whichever side you'd like to position your handle on, there you go. That's pretty kick-ass. Set of keys. Put them in the screwdriver. Nice. Bring on. Nice touch. Look at the collar, eh? I went with the olive green. What do you guys think? I figured it kind of fit the military build, the theme of the uh, the last demo. Um, yeah, it'll go away eventually, but this color is never going to grow old on me. So I thought this was pretty kick-ass. So she's got the uh, olive army green. I'm just blown away with it. That's awesome. Just awesome. Right on, right on. So you'll notice too, now other than the top drawer, I do believe that all the drawers come out all the way. So you can get sockets up and down at the very back of it. And 250 capacity, weight capacity. These are mucho, uh, mucho sturdy. Yep, right out to the end. Then we get a couple deeper boxes. We can check it out. This is a pretty thick box, right? This is our seal and bearing press kit. Oh yeah. Very nice. That's very nice. Oh, 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 there's so much drawer space. Look how deep these bad. This is great. 
I think we're gonna do her. I think everything will be in there and I'll have tons of room left to uh, to work with. So I'm looking forward to this big time. I'm not gonna bore you guys with the hours that it's gonna take me to organize this because I'm certain that it is. I'm gonna go back onto mckaytoolsales.ca and uh, probably order up a few more things to uh, to help me in the, uh, the cleanliness of my tool storage. This box is killer. The quality is top notch. Seriously high quality product for uh, a much more reasonable price range. This is really nice. I can't wait to do maintenance with this bad boy. These two are not lockable. And these two that pivot on this side are. So yeah, I don't know. Hopefully the lighting is decent enough that you can see. Probably not, but uh, it's got on and off, right? So break on, break off. So the casters and everything, four year warranty, um, the box, four year warranty. Um, and they actually asked Dirk does, uh, I mean, they haven't been around that long. So lifetime warranty, not yet, no. But if you have any problems with your box uh, after the four years, they ask that you message them so they can work uh, with you to find a resolution to the, uh, to the problem. But I think that's pretty cool that they ask that you do that, reach out to them if it's after your warranty period is up. I don't foresee ever having an issue with this box. I think it's going to outlast me by many years. So we'll pass around to one of the kids. I'm sure they'll appreciate it and still be able to enjoy it years after I'm gone. Killer. It's definitely got some style, man. I am loving this thing. Look at that. It's full flex. Need some lighting in here? I don't know. I got to take some pictures though. That's for certain. That looks killer. <laughs> Anyways, Justin uh, hooked us up. We got the car with Justin, and after you know talking with him for a little while and getting to know the lad, he said, uh, you know, we, we were looking for somebody in Eastern Ontario that could potentially be a sales rep and uh, be able to showcase a demo unit to guys that are interested in the area, right? So um, yeah, right on, man. We got another side hustle. We can't use another side hustle with today's economy. We got hooked up. Justin sent us a demo unit down. Display for customers who are in my area. We're dead set on taking a look at one of these before uh, purchasing, which is no problem at all when you're spending this kind of money, right? So that brings me to the demo piece they sent. It's a 72 inch box, which I don't really have the room for because I don't have a garage. So I uh, had to reach out to my sister and brother-in-law there and they're not far away, 20 minutes, so. Um, and obviously he's pretty stoked to say, ah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Because he has full use of the box. He can stock it up. I just need it to, uh, to show customers who are interested firsthand the quality of the box, right? So, yeah, side hustle. Everybody's gotta have one these days because the economy's shit. We're looking at the Eastern Ontario sales rep for uh, Sturk Industries uh, via McKay Tool Sales, so that's pretty cool. We're going to go take a look. 72 inches. 72 Tool chest. This thing's ridiculous. Powder coat options. Oof. Quite a few, actually. I think. Black, lime green, orange, gray, purple, blue, red, olive green. Custom. Nice. Even off the custom. And then you got all your trim options, right? Black, black, polished aluminum, green, copper, purple, blue, red, gold, custom. Very cool. Make it your own. I do believe they've updated the costs.
she's fun. Take six pounds of pressure to pull. Top drawer is the only drawer that doesn't fully extend. Soft closing drawers. So the rest can full extend so you can get your sockets right up along the back, no problem. They all come fully tacked. Nice. Wow, that's a lot of drawer space. So you got your standard two inch drawers, right? The top one, it's deep. That's great. Look at that, four and a half inch. Oh, sorry, bottom of the tack, five inch. Is awesome. Three more of them. You got a large box. 11. Awesome. Just awesome. 28 inch depth to the box. 24 to your drawers. Just awesome. 31. 49. And the smaller ones. Yeah, 14 and a half. Nice stainless work surface. Pretty much got most of the shots done that I need. Did you do the video part with your box? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, still got that one rolling there. This one rolling over here. It's even better than the other side, I think. I watched this video and he's like 290 pounds and he walks up the... He sits on. <laughs> really? Yeah. Did you do it? No, I was kind of. Mm. <laughs> no, no. I should though. I'd like to. You should. Like, what are you up to? I'm oh, just hanging out with my toolbox. Jesus, that's that is insane. How many how many toolboxes can you do that? That's pretty nuts. Sure, she don't flip over that way, but Jesus, wow. I mean, like, oh, you should take a picture. That's pretty nuts. I don't want to step at the end of it because of where Yeah, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, you're not trying it's to... It's actually sloped this way as well, the driveway, so how much do I want to test? So, yeah, that's pretty, uh... Wait, take my so you do the... Oh, I guess. Oh, fuck my shit. Now the test, right? That's insane. Same three drawers. Be like, why is there footprints in your tool chest? <laughs> yeah, I don't know where that is, right? Yeah, that's pretty really wild, man. Yeah, I don't know how many toolboxes you can say that, but that's pretty cool. Like, that ain't Mastercraft happening. <laughs> Six pound poles. Six pound poles. I love the fact that they go all the way out. Top drawer won't. Top drawer is the only one that doesn't. The rest will. And that's obviously because of, you know, your tip factor sure. to having overloaded. Especially when this one is actually a five inch depth drawer, right? Okay. So you're going to have even more weight, most likely, in this drawer than you would your standard two inch drawers. I mean, and then I believe that was, I think, 11. Just, 
Just this alone, having mm -hmm. all your tools slid out so you can see them all. You know oh, what I mean? it's nice. And the depth in these is 24 inch to to each slide, right? So it's a 28 inch depth box. It's got a little space, obviously, for accommodating everything. Yeah, it's nice they include the tack actually, and this isn't just no, it's not cheap shitty either. cheap tack. It's actually you just peeled it up. It's actually thick stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's a great mat. I mean that that's it's not your tack cloth to wipe ice with the bottom of it. It's not your counters or uh, drawers. No, exactly right. Everything seems to be really nice quality. It's all machine welded. And unlock the casters are nice. They got a thousand pounds locking strength. Still a handle on it. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. So the reason they gave you the little screwdriver. Okay. You just insert that right here and give her a little shot. Not a tip off that. Okay. Hand. There we go. And the Allen key down through and into the side. Give you an Allen key for that? Uh, no, they don't. Yeah, they don't provide you uh, have a toolbox this size. They probably figure you have that key, <laughs> which I did at the house. Um, and now it's in my toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicated. Oh animal. yeah, I'm so happy to have that uh, rolling one. To have the cart. Oh yeah. yeah. It's ever making life enjoyable. Now you're, you're gonna find more and more uses with it. Yeah, I'm gonna do a tie rod install here right shortly on the new demo. So. Once they arrive, I'll uh, get a chance to actually put it in in use. I can't believe I have one that fits. It's got double locks. All that lock takes care of and locks up all these drawers. And then this lock is going to lock this the bank, row. the bank, because of the mechanism, mm -hmm. probably the weight, the distance, the pivot on it, maybe not healthy. So two locking. I haven't even showed that. Actually, I haven't even tried it on the cart. system engage the rail at the back oh yeah goes down and locks it in and we'll turn it back oh wow is that sound mechanical sounds like nice. <laughs> yeah sounds like a safe nice where's the first tool very nice it's the handle <laughs> ah right on and they just insert it back in slide in just slide in yeah Oh, that's nice. Yep. Yeah, I mean, someone that goes through that amount of work just packaging to deliver it to us. Well, I know. That's right. I went over all the creating and everything, too. It's just. Yeah, it's very uh, well taken care of in the transport. Attack. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah. All right, boys. So if you're in the local area and you're interested in a Stirk Industries toolbox or tool chest or tool cart, then uh, hit me up and uh, we'll get you sorted, right? <laughs> or just head over to McKayToolSales.ca and check out what we got to offer. Just a quick shout out to Cole Mack. 
Becker, he's the guy that helped me uh, unload this from the truck. Amazing guy, and whoever he works for, you should give him a raise, because that guy was really awesome. <laughs> Thanks Great. a lot. Cheers, Cole. Thanks, man.